Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, it didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! A getaway. Bad news. Step on it, Jay. There, on the left. barely see a thing out there. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something, at least. You get the wood dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey! Don't talk to him like that. Look, you got away. Can you let me go now? Shut up. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma! <sighs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. <sighs> Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on him. Now I know none of this has gone like we planned. And what happened? Hey, oh, unlock the door. The what? No, I can't. Right Come now, on, man. This could be my only chance. If Tyler sees you, he won't if you hurry. Come on, please.
go quick before they notice. Thank you. And, uh, hey, about Yellowstone? It's fine. I know I'm never going. Never say never, okay? Come on. Back in the car. What the? Are you nuts? They'll hear it for miles. How'd he get the door open, huh? Tyler, it's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. <laughs> I can't get him out! He's gonna die in there! Hey! You hear that? Oh, fuck! They found us! We gotta leave! Go, go, go! I think I saw someone run. Out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Well, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. I, I think I need water.
somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His talent for overcoming problems. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like... We could light a fire and roast marshmallows. Mmm. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I- Because I've... you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right, if you say so, whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. I, I can wait. Definitely. Sure I can. Hello? What the hell is that? Oh shit, oh 
by the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way! So good. <sighs> Please let there be a medicine cabinet. What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Halt. Roger that. <sighs> the Halts. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are. I should stay inside. Ugh. <sighs> 
That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. I'm not that hurt. I mean, not hospital hurt. You could be. You should get checked out. I'm not, though. <laughs> I swear. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The Juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look. Could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> So, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but what was your excuse? I didn't like being stuck inside all day. Well, what about Jim? They kept trying to teach me basketball. On that indoor court where the AC always breaks? Yeah. See? Much better. Phoebe! Where's my sandwich? I'll be right there! Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. There's speculation the other suspects are members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home! Is it really you, Maddie? I'm sorry. We've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. Here, let me help. Oh. 
So, Dean, what does a high school dropout do all day? I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. Just do chores, mostly. Take care of the yard. If my brothers are home, maybe we go to the dump and find something we can fix, you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who doesn't chill at the dump? Tell you one thing. Matthew made better sandwiches than him. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you won't let me use condiments. <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to Murder, she wrote. <sighs> it was nice to meet you, Dave. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license. She knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt. Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. How did it happen? Spring break? A year ago? Matt was grounded as usual. My dad's always grounding us. So, he snuck out to this party. Said I wouldn't have liked it, though I think he just wanted to keep me out of trouble. And when he wasn't at breakfast the next morning, our dad was furious. And then we got the call. It happened on his way home. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? <sighs> Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just gonna skip it. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. He was always trying to protect me from things. Mm -hmm. From our older brother, from Pa, when he was on a bender. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He was up painting a roof and fell off a ladder. The way he landed. Oh, man. I'm sorry. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but sometimes I wish my dad would fall off a ladder or whatever. Come on. You don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Come on, he can't be all that awful. Not in a nice house like this one. It's not that he's awful, he's just so uptight. Ugh. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <laughs> hey, you wanna help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay. Sure. Minnesota? No. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? 
No, I don't. Which president signed the 1906 Uh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Wait, I think I saw this on TV. Um, I think it's Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? Uh, what's his name? FDR? Close, but no cigar. The correct answer is... Teddy Roosevelt. And I am officially gonna fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're... You're smart and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. (laughs) Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Uh, the Bridgeway School. Surely you mean the Bridgeley School. Right. That's the one. (sighs) Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. And you're the one who sells her marijuana? What? No, I told you I stopped smoking. I'm asking him. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. What happened? Do you know? Apparently, three brothers botched a robbery and took over a motel. Things got pretty nasty. Well, is it over? Not quite. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Mm. I need your help with something. Don't you go anywhere. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. No, you'll only make it worse. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on, it's probably in the bathroom. Dad, have you checked her underwear drawer? Why would it be in an underwear drawer? Ask her! Hey, um, I really gotta go. I don't want to get interrogated by your dad. Thanks for saying goodbye, at least. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. You could help me study again sometime? Over coffee? (laughs) I always wanted to try a fancy coffee. Here, let me give you my 411. Call during the week. He's almost always at work. I thought I told you to stay put. (sighs) Sir, I need to get home. Well, I suppose I have no right to keep you here. Thank you, sir. My mom will be... Hang on. Why are you wearing my son's clothes? I can explain.
Look, I got struck by a car earlier. Mm. Vanessa found me and cleaned me up. A hit and run? You kids should have called the cops. We could just flag down the one that's been patrolling. No. It was my fault. I forgot to look. I was high. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of my house. Yes, sir. Goddamn junkie. You. You're grounded. Jay! You in there? Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Damn it, I'll do it myself. Pussies, with your threatening letters. What's the matter? Can't face me like men? Well, I ain't got your ten grand. So if you want it, Oh, fuck yourself. Uh. Okay. Here's how we get out of this hole. Come Take on. Take what's left. Come on. Bye, Brad. Buying a high stakes game. Son of a bitch! You tell anybody about this place, I'll find you and skin you alive, you little rat! Please don't be. Ah! Mom. Mom. I'm sorry, I should have come straight home. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. <laughs> He's gonna be so surprised. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> oh, Mom. Have the sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was. <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? I... 
I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. Ash? 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 Easy, easy. Hey, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. Jay! Oh, God. I thought I lost you. I thought they got you, Ma. I was so scared. I'm fine, darling. Nothing a couple of aspirin won't fix. Are you okay? Better now. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I got yours too. You're my brother. Good. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass who can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Canab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No. I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey! You think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell! Barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leaving. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. Why can't we all go? We haven't even tried. We've done nothing but try. What do you think this has all been about? It's time to get real, kid. 
You owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa. He treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom. Should have done us a favor. Tyler. Enough. What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. You're right. This family's my only family. Family? We're just your fucking babysitters. Should have been Dale. Should have been you. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here! Look, forget what I said, okay? Of course I'm your brother. I used to change your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. And that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. I just need to know you're not going to tell anyone the plan. I was just angry. I, I swear. I didn't mean it. And what if the cops get to you? What then? I'll let them kill me before I say anything about Mexico. I swear it on my- Get down here, Jay. I swear to fucking God. Jay, help me. Please, my leg can't take a fall. How the hell do you climb so fast? I don't look down. Look, Jay. It's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? Like you said, cops won't expect it. Then good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you.